Um, and of course, we work very closely with NOAA and the National Weather Service. This is actually a release that our emergency management director just saved, saved with us, or shared with us, excuse me. Um, basically, it's just showing we're seeing above rainfall. We have, and we're going to see it continued. Um, and so for us, I mean, yes, trust me, we were the first ones watching the weather. I think we should all have, like, minors and, you know, weather. But when you think about that in climatology, that it's just, we're seeing changes. Um, but what we're doing is we're talking to each other. Now, we're watching these things. We're doing as much prep that we can to make sure that nothing's going to back up water that's going to flood a sewer system. We're doing all kinds of inspections. We're doing things as well with stormwater. Um, and of course, by having this discussion, we're also working again with USGS, and they're looking at placing other gauges to help us better understand what's happening. Um, and those are big commitments. I mean, I think that there's several thousand dollars a year for the maintenance of those with USGS, but being able to tell someone where the water's going to go, I mean, granted, there's give or take on them. We've seen them where it's supposed to crest, and it doesn't. It keeps rising. Um, but to know that, I mean, that was one that they're looking at is actually on the Little River. Um, because of, I think it was 82 that went underwater in 2009. So they're looking at some other improvements there. So, um, but again, we're, we're very aware of it. Um, I think, you know, we've all been praying for no rain so that we can get everything finished. Well, we need some rain, but... Yeah, but we do, we need to finish, but we're, we're watching that and we want you guys to know that we are very actively doing that and we're happy to share any information that we have. And, 